The Honourable Member Strathmore Brooks. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Recently, Canadians were reminded of the crucial importance of pipeline integrity. No thanks to the government's pipeline safety review released this summer. While Albertans know the value of pipeline integrity for economic prosperity and the environment, the re report demonstrated the government's utter lack of seriousness in assessing the need to improve pipeline safety with concrete measures to step up our game in enforcement. The report failed to even look at the enforcement of regulations and did not address shortcomings in reporting and monitoring procedures. The report failed to address several available examples of recent spills and did not take any lessons from these mistakes to improve safety going forward. Albertans were left wondering why the government commissioned the report at all. It's great that the report recognized that we have regulations, but hold your applause. The existence of regulations was never the question. While the report makes recommendations going forward, it does nothing to address the integrity of our 400 and some thousand kilometer, kilometers of existing pipelines. Integrity should be an important idea for the government. But let's not look to the government, whose municipal affairs minister says one thing to Albertans and then tells another audience that our oil industry sucks the life out of every other aspect of Alberta, because that's not integrity. And neither did the review add to pipeline integrity or off, offer an honest look into the critical challenges facing our industry. Enforcement is critical for Alberta to prove it is leading the way in pipeline integrity, whether it's the East to West Pipeline, the Keystone XL Pipeline, or Western Pipelines. Demonstrating to our customers our steadfast and unwavering dedication to pipeline integrity in the face of the ever-expanding production is critical to our economic future. Our customers want to know our regulations are being enforced. It's not good enough just to have regulations. Thankfully, the Auditor General has agreed to my request for review on reporting, monitoring and enforcement procedures of the Alberta Energy Regulator.